Philippines. Well, everyone, good evening. Good evening. Well, as a one of the participants here in Pride of the Philippines, I want to remember every one of you, ladies and gentlemen, as candidate number six, Jomi Frisolda, the most aspiring newbie, new beginners in this country, aspiring one that dream big has evaluate all the challenge in this evening and in times that I seems that I have losing this little hope that in my mind still I believe and have faith that everything I can do it and everything I can achieve it so that maybe that will be all thank you um, it will be an honor and a responsibility to be a pride of the Philippines um, if I become the pride of the Philippines 
I will create the project in coordination with our consulate to help my fellow distress OFW. I will facilitate a training program like haircutting, sewing, that can help them after working abroad. I want to give them hope and boost their and believe themselves that life, this is not the end of their life after working abroad. But it's a new journey for them to be a new businessman. Thank you. Uh, first of all, again, I would like to give uh, everyone a good evening. And also to my uh, supporters who came here. So for the question, I would like to remember as the king of the Philippines to the things that I will be able to contribute and also that uh, I will be able to inspire all other OFWs. Uh, and also, don't uh, like stop your dreams. Just always like uh, go for it. Thank you. Thank you for that significant question. For me, I want to be um, one of the memory, uh, one of the memory, and then uh, I am I am the one who uh, want to give because uh, because I, I'll give my best to uh, recognize me and to uh, remember me because uh, not all Filipino can uh, can do uh, and to. I want to be remembered as King Pride of the Philippines as an advocate of hope. Because, because I want to share everybody and want to let everybody know that whatever trials or struggle there right now, there is still hope. We Filipinos are always smiling because we know in our heart that after the trials and struggle, there is a better tomorrow and that is hope. Model number five, here's your question. What do you think is the best trait a Queen Pride of the Philippines should possess and why? Good evening, everybody. I think the best traits that we have in the Philippines is we are a really hardworking people. In this way, we strive so much to introduce ourselves, not only our skills, but we are also proud to show the people the nature of our country. Second is, Filipinos are not only smiley people, not only happy people. We are also very helpful. We are also very warm, welcoming people in accepting tourists in different, um, different uh, country so we can give them the best service that we can. Thank you very much and have a good one. First of all, thank you for that very beautiful question and I hope all of you enjoy the show. So I think it takes a lot of bravery to even stand in front of everybody else inside this room. And I think that is the main point or that is the main attitude that every single Filipino, not only a queen or a king of the Philippines, but each one of us. Without bravery, we cannot do anything. But if we are strong enough and we have the dedication and courage to do everything, then we will surely succeed in everything that we want in life. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas! Mabuhay ang Pilipinas! Thank you for the very nice question. First of all, I'd like to greet everyone. Good evening. <laughs> the trait of a Filipino that I am very proud of is that we are very positive people. We love to smile. We are very hospitable. We are hardworking. And most of all, we love our country, our family very much. Like everywhere in the world, you can see Filipinos working hard for their families. So that's one of the traits of Filipino that I am proud of. Thank you. I do believe that the best trait the Queen of the Philippines must have is she should be a loving person. A loving person with a beautiful heart to serve every OFW and every nation. A loving person with a beautiful heart that's inspired and influenced to become a better individual and to help the community. And that is what I believe in. 
Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. A trait that I believe not only queens, but all people should have is genuinity. Because once you're genuine, then everything and anything that you do will come from the heart. And the, be genuine to your people, be genuine not just to, to your own race, but to all races. Because we must always accept that we are now in a place where we have cultural diversity. And we should always strive for uh, one, one important thing, which is the survival of human race. And that would always come when, uh, from a person's heart who is true, like, true and genuine. Thank you. Oh my God, grabe ang mga tao dito na akaloka. So ayan, maraming salamat sa pagdalo ng baby na to. Hindi na ako mag-outro uh, mamaya kasi malalobat na ako. So ayun, uh, congratulations sa mga ng King and Queen of the Philippines. So that's it, good night. The fourth one row will be awarded by Miss Jenny Devera and Doris C. Congratulations to our fourth runner-up, team number 10 and queen number 5. And for our third runner-up, for our third runner-up, are you ready? We will be calling the king winner first. Okay, king number king number six. King number six is Joey Prince Sauda. And for the queen, it's queen number eleven. Queen number eleven is Ella Marita Cesaro. They are our third runner-up. Third runner-up will be awarded Miss Susie Helen and Green Lazada. For the second runner up, King number number eleven. King number eleven is Angelo Hotoyo. And for the queen, it's queen number second runner up, queen number seven. Seven is Maricus Sesumasioi. Second runner up is to be awarded by Mr. Ahmed Bilal and Rev Basquani. Working with you guys, especially to you.